This is a demo of single GPU pass-through. That's one computer with one graphics card that can play Windows exclusive video games in a virtual machine running on Linux. Last night, I got an impulse to try this out and it was so much easier and it works so much better than I was expecting. I'm really excited to show you this quick demo, but make sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you'll be waiting for the tutorial coming up soon. Let's do this. Okay, so for the sake of completeness, we're gonna start with my host operating system turned off. So I'm gonna hit the power button and you can see Fedora Linux is starting up. It's gonna start up GNOME Display Manager or GDM and that's what I'm gonna to use to log in. And you can see I have my windowing environment configured to start Virtual Machine Manager uh, on login so we'll just move that to the side and I want to show you that the host graphics are working so I'm going to start up an Unreal Engine project here. This project is called a uh, generic workplace simulator so hopefully you can figure out what I'm kind of parodying or recreating here. Okay, so that's launched and we can go ahead and play the game and you can see I can walk through the office here. We can walk past the desks, we can head into, uh, I guess, the hallway toward the annex or what maybe you call this the break room. We can go into the conference room for a Michael meeting. We can check out Michael's office next door and basically you have, yeah, rendering on my GPU, which is a NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and it's time to start my virtual machine. So as I click start here, you can see my screen goes black. And that's because I have a hook configured that's going to stop the display manager and detach the graphics card. And then it's going to pass the graphics card into the virtual machine and then start the virtual machine. So now after a little bit of a delay, we can see the guest operating system starts using the same HDMI output as the host operating system. So I'll go ahead and start Deep Rock Galactic. I want to start a game so that again you can see the GPU working. Uh, looks like I forgot to type my password in here, so I'll just type that in real quick. And Deep Rock should be launching. There we go. So you can see the game starting up. Got a lo loading screen and just a couple quick clicks to get into the lobby. Loading and we're there. Yeah, so you can see this is again rendering happening on my dedicated GPU, my GTX 1660 Ti. This is the HDMI port coming out of the dedicated GPU. It's the same one we were using on the host OS and you can see it's like rendering at a pretty good frame rate. I'm capturing this on my capture card which is plugged into my laptop so you can see me messing around in the lobby here um, so all the things you'd expect to be able to do in the game um, and yeah I guess we don't need to watch all of this so I'll go ahead and speed through this here and the last piece of this the last piece of the demo is to close out of this, close out of the virtual machine, and show that the graphics start working on the host operating system like you'd expect and like you'd hope. Yeah, the game closes, I'll close out of Steam, and I'll turn off the virtual machine, and then this is also going to call into some hook scripts that once the virtual machine has stopped, it's going to call these scripts, which are going to rebind the GPU and then start the display manager and allow us to log in again and start using the host operating system, even with uh, graphics. So the GPU is reattached, so I can log in here. We can see it starts again as normal, and we can just yeah move that out of the way again. And then I'll go ahead and start the Unreal Engine again just to show that it's still working. Yeah, so this was like way easier to use than I was expecting. So if you want GPU pass through and you only have one uh, graphics card and you're kind of okay with this kind of like switch back, switch forward functionality, I still think this is 
a smoother experience than dual booting because you just kind of have a button to click and then your screen switch instead of having to reboot and come back in and click a button at a specific time. So yeah, I, uh, I hope this is helpful for you guys to see what single GPU pass through can look like. I'm going to send some links in the description so that you can see the guide that I followed to do this. So like I said, stay tuned for a tutorial coming up soon. Thank you for watching and don't forget to stay bland.